This is the Warm Cool Primary Kit from Gara Paint and Pigment Corp. Included in the kit is an 8 ounce of silica flat, which is the binder. Silica flat has a gouache look. It's actually an acrylic that has a matte surface. Also included in the kit are pigment concentrates. This first one here is a phthalo blue green. Very strong pigment. Next up we have the naphthol red light. This would be considered one of the warm colors. Here's the Hansa 10G. You'll notice I'm shaking these. I'll tell you about that later. This is the Quinacridone Magenta. And Titanium White. Also included in this kit that's not shown here is the Carbon Black. You have a Ultramarine Medium. Extra shaking needed here. And then, last but not least, the Golden Arlide. This is the uh, warm yellow in the kit. So today we're going to be painting the warm and cool. They're color wheels, basically. I also have a glass jar and for my water and a little palette. This helps hold the paint. So we'll take the silica flat and put about a quarter size drop in each little divot for each pigment color that you're going to be using. This is the base of the paint, so that's going to be most of the paint is going to be made up of the binder. And you'll see I'll be squeezing a little bit of each pigment into the silica flat. So all these pigments actually started out as a powder. And what Gara Paint's specialty is in creating these pigment concentrates so that they are able to be used in many different ways. So silica flat is just one of the binders that you can use. So if you happen to have the kit mailed to you also, they have these little caps on them. And within the bag will be these nozzles that help the pigment come out a little bit easier. When you're first using these pigments, you can start with a very small amount. And you don't have to worry because you can always add more. It's better to start with less and get to know each color. The best way to get a feel for the pigments and their strengths is by actually working with them and experimenting. So don't be afraid to. Uh, stir the mixture for 10 seconds or until it's fully blended. Do a sample swatch on paper to evaluate the color. Paint mixture will be lighter in color but will dry slightly darker, like the color appears in the container. Please note that the pigment dispersions must not be used without a binder, as they will dry to a fine powder. Now we're ready to do our primary color wheel. The map that I laid out basically shows the warm and cool color wheel. I just labeled each primary color, secondary color, and tertiary color. So the little areas that you see are tinted with titanium white. And what titanium white does, not only does it make it a little bit lighter, it also shows it with a little bit of opacity. So you can see some colors shifting slightly with that titanium white added. I hope that this inspires you to explore colors and visit Gara Paint. Check them out. Give them a call. Send them an email. Ask them questions. So if you happen to do your own warm cool primary color wheel, please feel free to share. We'd love to see the results.